Can you do me a favor? Lofi? To this preacher? Man. Do we all lie? Hello. Oh, I need to fix this. Mm. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Welcome to Tips, Topics, and Talk. You guys hung out with me this morning. If you did, if you did not, we are still here having fun together. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, guess what today is? Today is or was the first day of school. Let me get my earbuds out my ears. Um, I'm just out here just. Oh, it's on now. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Over there. I need to, uh, let me just, let me sound. All right, y'all. Welcome. Hey, guys. Come on in. Let me make sure that my, um, my, uh, let's see. Welcome, welcome. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to those of you guys who are who are going to be um who are going to be joining me live today. Let me see if that's high enough. And then I also let me tell y'all something I need to do. I need to clean, clean my glasses. Goodness. This is ridiculous. You know you can't clean your glasses with just anything, right? Don't don't look at my drawers. That don't even sound right to me. <laughs> don't look at my drawers. <laughs> okay, so um, welcome once again to the Brownstone Kitchen. We're going to be having a little bit of this kitchen conversation with some tips, topics, and topics. Your girl, Paulette. I am the owner and founder of Brownstone Worldwide, and we are back this evening for tips, topics, and talk. I have an hour with you guys, uh, basically, pretty much, you know, give or take, because. Um, I've got some additional planning that is happening. Y'all know how I do. Sometimes I come on here, honey, and I just get to talking and stuff. And before you know it, it's like, oh, my God, um, it's two hours in. It's three hours in or whatever. We don't want to do that today because I've got some additional meetings. Because, y'all, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is Cullen's Corner. Y'all know that, right? So welcome, welcome. Y'all come on in this room. Let's get together and let's have some fun. I'm going to go grab my other phone so we can talk to each other. My glasses are filthy. Where are my cleaning cloths? Here's one. Oh, thank goodness. I was about to say, goodness. All right, so let us start turning on. Uh oh, wait a minute. Okay. All right, so guys, Today, 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 we are going to be preparing the very first back to school dinner. So today in the county that I live in, in Georgia, um, the kids went back to school. So KJ and Minnie Mouse started school again today. I feel like they just got out of school, right? So I'm, I'm just really not feeling that. I'm like, hey, y'all just went to school. But let me tell you what we're doing today. I wanted to make something super simple that the kids could grab. First of all, I ran to the grocery store and I picked up a couple of items that I thought um, I could get away with for under $20 in terms of snacks. And I think I did okay. I also went on ahead and got myself a pound of ground beef yesterday. I think that sucker was like four or $5, $5 and $0.46 or something like that. The reason why I'm telling you guys this is because um, that's what we're going to be using today with just a basic skillet. I'm gonna be bringing you guys over here to the counter with me, y'all know how we do. And, uh, oh, that's so much better, goodness. I cannot stand a dirty pair of glasses. How do y'all do that? Like, how do you just walk around and knowing that it's smudge and stuff like, I can't see clear. Like, really, y'all, come on. So anyway, all right, so number one, let's get started with what we are going to be preparing today. The first thing is, is we're going to be preparing a, uh, 
let's see. We are going to be preparing. <laughs> uh, I did. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I'm texting you and I'm live. <laughs> uh, and it's okay. All right. So shout out to DJ Tony Sanchez, who's part of the Brownstone family. Um, just wanting to touch base and see how sister is doing. So listen, let me tell y'all. Well, let me tell you what I was, what I was going to do. I was going to, first of all, I'm turning on my oven. I'm turning my oven on. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have it where you guys can kind of see just a little bit of everything. Uh, Y'all like my little lounge dress, honey. I was not here for it. So today is actually my last day of uh, working, uh, not working, because I've been on, I've been on vacation. So uh, today is actually the last day. So I'm just kind of chilling around the house or whatever. But since it was the kids' first day of school, I thought, why don't I just go on ahead and cook? And actually, to be honest with you, it's a good way for you to save some extra money by making sure that the kids literally eat whatever you cook. You know what I'm saying? So what we're going to have today is I am going to turn on my oven because we are making quick sloppy joes. That's the first thing. All right. And so <laughs> um, here's what we're going to do. We are going to start with a pound of We're going to start with a pound of beef. So let's start with that. I'm going to go in my refrigerator. Guys, this is the basic pound of ground beef. That's it. That's all you want to do. You got your pound of ground beef, and I'm going to grab a skillet because what we're doing this. I don't understand. Like, this, we're going to have to call these people because every once in a while, my service goes in and out when I'm live. And it drives me absolutely insane. Yeah, it did it this morning, too. And I was like, what is going on? All right, so y'all, um, let me pull this back just a little bit. So what I'm getting ready to do while we're talking, and again, this is Tips Topics to Talk, is I'm going to turn on my skillet. I have some hot oil over here as well because what I am going to do is I'm going to make some basic french fries, right? So all I'm going to do is take my ground beef. We're going to take my ground beef. You see that? See that? See that? And we're going to put it in the skillet. We turn the skillet on. It's starting to heat up already. And I've got about an hour before I have to start focusing on something else. So. I know the kids are hungry. They came in and devoured whatever was in front of them, okay? And I want to make sure that they get a good meal before, you know, they start homework and start, you know, going to bed or whatever they're going to be doing for the rest of the evening. So um, I am going to just be making a basic sloppy joe. I did not buy manwich. I did not buy anything, any other special sauce. What I did get was um, ketchup and I got some barbecue sauce because I want to make the sauce myself. Um, so, and it'd be good, you know, because... Um, it's stuff that I already have in the house. And so here's what we're going to do. We are going to start with just some basic bun bread, okay? Child, it's real basic. This used to be, I think this used to be like 98 cents for this. Now it's like $1.49, okay? For anybody that, that knows me, you know that every Monday, we do something called Money Mondays here, where I literally do a grocery haul for $10.25, and I come in the house and I share with you guys what I was able to haul for $10 and 25 cents. So um, I'm going to start doing that again. But because I was in the air this this past Monday that just passed two days ago, I wasn't able to do that. So um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start grabbing some of our seasonings and we're going to get started. We are going to get started. Oh. So y'all. I can't find my seasonings. Now my feelings is hurt. Okay? I can't find the seasonings. Out. Where is my brownstone blizz? Here it is. Okay, so of course, y'all already know what I'm getting ready to do. I am using brownstone blends everyday blend. Okay? This sucker can be used with anything. 
And um, I, I got better be careful because I've been going to use the whole thing. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to season my ground beef with brownstone bridge. You want to see what the bottle looks like? That's what it looks like. Brown. Y'all can't see that because the light's so bright. That didn't make it no better. Let me see. Here we go. Maybe that'll help. Okay. All right. So this is brownstone blend. We're going to go ahead and start seasoning the food. Seasoning the meat. Okay. All we're doing is seasoning. You're going to season to your liking. Now, let me tell you what I'm not doing with this particular uh, run of, of uh, ground beef. I'm not putting anything special in it. No ground peppers, uh, no, no uh, cubed peppers, no onions, anything like that, because the kids really are not going to eat it with all of that stuff in there. So what I'm going to do is just prepare it as is. Right? So that's it. Now the oven is on because what we're going to do is once this is done, we're going to line our bake sheet with a couple of the hamburger buns that I shared with you guys. And we're going to put some cheese on top of it. This is going to be a very simple meal. You don't have to do much. Again, you can see where I chose, again, the Brownstones Blends Everyday Blend Mix so that you can use this with your ground beef, okay? Again, you can use this on chicken, you can use this on pork chops, lamb, uh, pretty much any kind of meat and any vegetarian or vegan options, you can use that seasoning for that, okay? So I just wanna kind of continue cooking this and preparing it. Cause this is gonna be a very simple meal. Y'all see that? Now, I'm gonna tell you something else that you can do. You can literally, this is almost like you said, it's ground beef, what you can do to stretch the meat is you can add crackers to it. You can also add breadcrumbs to it to stretch your meat, especially during lean times like what we're experiencing right now. You can add that to your meal so that you'll have more for everyone else to get a touch of that protein as well, in addition to being full, right? We don't want to increase the amount of carbohydrate, carbohydrates that everybody's in, you know, going to be consuming. But you do good morning. Hey, everybody, I'm saying good morning like I'm on the day shift. So, yeah, oh, um, we're going to continue cooking. So I'm going to take my hamburger buns, which, again, normally this is about 98 cents. It was a dollar and 49 cents today. I was salty as um, a saltine cracker, right? Because this is just old Food Depot hamburger buns, okay? So um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to find a pan for me to put this on, okay? Because what we're going to do is all I'm going to do is melt some butter. I'm going to put it on top of, we're going to brush our hamburger buns with it. And then we're going to place the um, ground beef and the seasonings and sauce that we're preparing now onto our hamburger buns. That's all we're going to do. So the oven is absolutely ready right now. Again, this is not going to be one of those meals where you have to stand here for long periods of time. Let me tell you something. A lot of us don't have the time, y'all. Who got who? Who has time? I don't have time. I've been working on brownstone stuff all day long. Finally figured out, thanks to Imani, what I was doing wrong with a particular email sequence. So I've been working on that all day. So here's what I would like for you guys to do. If you find this information to be helpful to you in any way, go ahead and like, comment, share. Let people know that you're hanging out with me, your girl Paulette in the Brownstone Kitchen, and we are just making a simple back-to-school meal for the kids. This is really, really simple, because let me tell you what we're going to add to it. I got real simple, and we got chips. We either got nachos, we got potato chips, and we got popcorn, okay? That's how simple this meal is going to be. And, and we're also going to be adding to the meal a simple drink of LaCroix, with flavored with flavor packets so we can kind of keep the sugar content low in the house you feel me so that's what we're going to do so here's what i'm doing i'm grabbing y'all huh, grabbing my little glass my little pyrex pan right here my little pyrex pan and we're going to line this with hamburger buns so let me share with you guys what that looks like all right, this is super simple, y'all. This ain't this. I, I keep telling y'all stuff. This this ain't hard. This is not hard. Is that my pan? There you go. All right. So what we're gonna do is just line this pan 
with a couple of hamburger buns. And actually, we only need, it looks like, we're going to take the tops off, right? And we're just going to line this pan with the bottoms of the hamburger buns. See that? Try that even hard. It was simple, wasn't it? It was really, really simple. Super simple. Okay, you ready? Let's do what we said we were going to do. We're going to line, we're going to take some butter, we're going to brush butter on top of the hamburger buns. I told you this is going to be a very simple meal. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and check my ground beef because it's still kind of cooking. I want it to burn, but I also want to make sure that it cooks thoroughly because I believe it will cook meat. I don't know about nobody else. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my butter. We're just going to melt it down. Now, here's my truth. My truth is, is I prefer grass-fed butter. So what I'm doing is, is I'm just going to melt this down just a little bit. Y'all, this was five hours. So we're going to, listen, I was hot about that. All right, let me grab one of my little bowls. And we're going to put this in the microwave just for a little bit so we can get the um, the hamburger bun butter. That's it. Now, what I was going to do was I was going to um, take some potatoes and fry those. I was like, I ain't going to do all that. No, not today. <laughs> it's not happening. So let me go ahead and melt down my butter and then we're going to start brushing that and we're going to add our sauce and stuff to our ground beef so that um you can see exactly what happens um when we're done all right so oh man okay now while our meat is cooking and while the butter is buttering and melting I'm going to go ahead and share with you a couple of things that you need to know. Go ahead and download the KCCR My Brownstone Living, the app. Go ahead and download the app so that you can listen in every single day to the Hot Lunch Mix at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. And then also you can check out the day shift. If you guys missed the day shift today, it did re-air twice on KCCR. That happens every single day at 10 a.m. And then also, once again, at 2 p.m., right before our drive time mixes start popping in. So if I were you and you wanted to find out what we talked about in terms of news and information that you can use, and all of that cool stuff, I would absolutely, absolutely, okay, now we could be actually hot. Um, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Child, I'm about to burn myself, listen. Okay? All right, so. All right, we got our we got our butter, okay? And then I spilled it. Did y'all see that? I, did you spill all of it? Almost, almost. <laughs> it spilled all on the counter because it was hot. So I just lost a half a stick of butter that cost almost four dollars for two sticks. <laughs> Dang. Let's talk about that. Oh man, that's the end. <laughs> Oh man, thank goodness it didn't get on uh, my clothes. But if it had, with all of these different colors that I got on, you would be able to see it. So it's enough for me to do what I need to do, but I'm a little salty now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and check my ground beef once again. And we're going to drain the grease. Guys, do a thumb. Do not. Do not. I just turned the heat off of the ground beef. Do not. Listen closely. Pour oil down your pipes. Folks, that is a no, because what ends up happening is it ends up getting clogged into your pipes and eventually, over time, guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna end up with clogged pipes, okay? So I'm gonna have to wash that down with some good soap. But in the meantime, we got I think I have enough to at least butter. No, I don't, I don't have enough to butter anything. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna butter these little buns. My feelings is hurt now, honey. You give me any money. 
Okay, so we're going to butter the buns. I thought I was going to get away with that. Nope, because it was super hot and I should have paid attention and took my first mind. All right, so we buttered those buns. And then the next step is we're going to make it super easy. So welcome, welcome to you guys. So listen, if you are paying attention right now, please know that um, we're on about seven different platforms right now. So go ahead and like, comment, and share. Welcome to everybody on YouTube. Welcome to everybody that's on Instagram right now that you're paying attention. Welcome to everybody that's on TikTok. Yes, it's like that. And so um, I just want to make sure that everybody gets an opportunity to see how simple this is. So I have a bowl that I am going to put this ground beef in with this strainer. Okay? And the reason why is because I don't want all that oil in here. Okay? So I'm going to take that out. And what we're going to do is we're going to dress up this ground beef. Now, remember, I said I wasn't going to put anything else in it except for the seasonings from brownstone blends. Okay? The reason why is because most kids don't want bell pepper, onion, all the extra stuff that grown folks do, right? They just want to eat and they want the good stuff like the ketchup, they want the barbecue sauce, all of that stuff. So we're going to make it really simple this evening so that they get what they're looking for. Now, this is a quick, simple meal, as you can tell. You see this? It don't take me long. Y'all know tips, topics, and talk don't take long. How long have we been on here? 21 minutes? Listen, it is what it is, right? All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some additional brownstone blends. We're going to season the meat just a little bit more. And again, folks, these kids, there's only two. There's only two kids, right? So it's not going to be a lot that I need to do because everybody else is grown and they can fend for themselves. Okay. But we got little people in the house that need to eat. Again, I'm using brownstone blends, everyday blend. Where can you find this? You can find this at mybrownstoneliving.com. Hey, Tony, how are you? Welcome. Welcome guys. Shout out to Tony Sanchez. He is a part of the brownstone family. Big deal there because his show airs on Saturday and Sunday at from seven to 9 PM. You can check him out, and his show is called The Eye of the Storm. Now, I'm just going to take some barbecue sauce, and we're going to take a little bit of this chunky salsa that I have in the refrigerator. Let me tell y'all how creative I'm about to get. All right, remember I said that the oven was on. It's on 350 degrees. Y'all know that's the standard in every black home, 350. Okay, I'm going to take the rest of this salsa that we had with some nachos earlier. And I'm going to dump this into my ground beef. Okay? We're going to make our own sloppy dough. Right? This is a very simple meal. Anybody can make. As you can see, I'm almost done. You ain't even got to do nothing real hard. Just boom, 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 boom. And we in there. Again, if you are not listening to KCCR throughout the day, you're missing out on a treat because we got the hot nerds mix that happens at 12 noon. And then we also have the replay of the day shift. So I'm mixing in my um, salsa. And guys, guess what it has in it? Onions, peppers, tomatoes, all of that. Thank you so much for the likes, everybody. I appreciate that. So what we're doing is we're just mixing up what we do have. And now I'm going to add the barbecue sauce, okay? That's going to add a little bit of zing to it. Now, I did go ahead and buy this today. Why do we do that? Why do we shake it up like this? Huh? Why do we do that? All right, um, so I have barbecue sauce already in the refrigerator. Let me tell you what I'm not going to do. Struggle. <laughs> I'm not struggling today. Not struggling today. So I have some barbecue sauce here, just a regular old store-bought brand, store brand. And I'm going to take this and add it to the ground beef. That's it. And it doesn't need to be a whole lot, okay? Doesn't need to be a whole lot because all we're going to do, we're going to spoon this concoction, this ground beef, directly onto the top of these burger buns. That's it. That's all we're doing. Okay? Watch this. Super simple. Y'all see this? Matter of fact, if you can, I'm going to help you. There we go. All right. Now, all we're going to do is take the ground beef and we're going to put it Oh, that's too much. We're going to put it right on top of those buttered buns. That's it. 
That's it. And again, this is supposed to be a sloppy joe, so it's going to be a little sloppy. Okay. Now, you can use any kind of bread that you want. You can use regular uh, sliced bread if you want to do that. You can use Sara Lee, honey. You can use the Hawaiian type bread, whatever you want to do. Because again, folks, this is supposed to be a little sloppy. Okay. You see what I'm doing? I just want to make sure that everything gets covered. Boom, boom, boom. And then the last thing that I'm going to do with our Sloppy Joe, because that's what this is, Sloppy Joe. I wonder where it got its name from. Y'all ever wondered that? Like, where did it get its name from? Now, the next step is, is all I'm going to do is take my cheese. Now, I'm using uh, Marble Jack cheese. It's, it's a Monterey, and it is Colby cheese together. It's just a really cute blend that melts really well. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cheese and put it on top of the ground beef. Didn't I tell y'all this was easy? I wasn't playing with y'all. Listen, nobody got time. Now, if you have, if you have time to, to goof around and do this, by all means, and make you a full course meal. But listen, honey, people don't have full course time. Okay? They just don't. Okay, so all we're doing is we're just topping that cheese right on top. And the last step to make this really delish is one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, and six. That's it. That's all you got to do. We're going to put this in the oven for about maybe five or six minutes to kind of give the cheese an opportunity to melt. And then we're going to melt some more butter since I goofed around and messed that up. And then we're going to clean up our mess, okay? That's the next thing that we're going to do. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven at 350 degrees. The oven is already preheated. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see me do that. Let's see. All righty. There we go. In the oven it goes. Ready? Here we go. And it doesn't need to stay in there long. It really doesn't. Okay? So what I'm going to do is put some more butter in here. Why that sucker was so hot? And then we'll just use the butter later because it's already in a ramekin, so we good to go with that. Just put this back in the oven. I'm sorry, the microwave. Heat that up and be good to go. And clean up and clean as you go. So remember, I made a mess earlier, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to clean up our mess. That's just it, y'all. So it's trying to rain here. Let's talk about what's happening tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, I will be hanging out with you guys again for the day shift. We're going to be talking about news and information that you can use. We are going to be telling you guys, remember I told you all I was going to be telling you all about the black card tomorrow? I was serious about that. We're going in and we're going to be talking about the black card, what it entails, and hopefully I will be able to um, lock the brother down that actually owns it, okay? Because again, we've been talking about for the past two days, we have been talking about black businesses. This is huge. It is Black Business Month. We want you guys to understand that we are here to give you more information about black businesses. So what we're doing all month long is we literally have scheduled interviews that will air live, pre-recorded, right? Because there are a lot of them. And then also we are going to be providing um, uh, their story. They're going to tell you their story. Okay? So that's pretty cool too. You're going to learn from these businesses what they've done. You're going to learn about their products and their services. You're going to learn a whole lot. And why are we doing this? We're doing this. The biggest reason why we're doing this is because we have got to be able to support small black businesses, black businesses, period. And there's nothing wrong with that. Just like we go out and we support all these other folks, honey, we can support our own brands. That sucker is hot. Y'all hear me? It is hot. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me go ahead and turn on my comments so I can see. So welcome once again, you guys, to um, Tips, Topics, and Talks. So you guys have learned something. If you are pouring grease down your kitchen sink, you are lose, you have lost your mind. Number one, what's going to happen over the years is it's going to clog your pipes. Okay? Just like regular arteries, enough grease goes down there, it will clog your pipes. Okay? So make sure that you have something that you can put that grease in, butter or whatever it is, at the end of every cooking session that you have in your home. All right. Now, what, uh, what, what I want to definitely talk about right now is what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. I cannot wait to share with you guys the black card. 
It is amazing. I want everybody in the brownstone to know that you should be getting your hands on the black card. Um, mine is actually on its way. So I'm excited about that. And um, I can't wait to share more information with you about that. And hopefully, like I said, we'll have Mr. Cummings come on and discuss with us, discuss with us exactly what the black card is and how you can use it. It is, an, it is an amazing service. And I wanna make sure that you guys are made aware of how you can save money um, by using the black card. It's pretty cool, all right? So um, what else are we gonna be talking about? Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is Cullen's Corner. Make sure that you guys are listening in, watching live. We're gonna be live on YouTube. We're gonna be live on all of our Facebook pages. We have the Brownstone Center. We also have the Sunday Brunch and Brownstone Living and Essentials that will be available. That's where you'll be able to see. You'll actually be able to see it on Cullen's page too and DeCarlo's page as well. But we have guests tomorrow, folks. We have, so that means I want y'all to be on your best behavior. I'm lying. I want y'all to be exactly who you are, okay? So what we're going to be discussing tomorrow, um, definitely we'll always talk about the, the top news of the day. But we're going to be talking about um, a couple of things when it comes to, um, let's see, marriage and relationships. We're going to be covering that because one of our guests is a returning guest. Her name is Marshawn Olanian, and she is at Marshawn Olanian. Dot com. You can definitely go ahead and check her out. We'll be providing her information tomorrow for you guys. And then we also have Miss Nicole Johnson, who is going to be joining us tomorrow um, for Cullen's Corner. And she is a financial strategist. You don't want to miss hers either. Um, she actually has an entire Facebook group, just like Marshawn does. And these ladies are going to be joining the, the forum tomorrow to discuss in further detail your money and your marriage. Okay. And even if you're not married, you still got money. You still need to figure out what to do with that, even if it's something but to start really, really simple, right? So make sure that you are paying attention and getting those alerts. Turn the alerts on so that you're able to know when we go live. We'll actually be live tomorrow um, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you guys will be able to um, listen in and give your feedback. We can actually bring you onto the screen with us if you wanna be a part of the conversation. So definitely keep that in mind as well, okay? So those are a couple of things that we're currently working on here at the Brownstone Center. Here's what I want you to do. If you want any of those Brownstone blends, I would love for you to head over to mybrownstoneliving.com. That's what I need you to do. MyBrownstoneLiving.com to get those brownstone blends. It actually comes in a box of four. We're literally going to be splitting them up. So if all you want, if you literally just love, love, love the um, everyday blends, we are going to be splitting up the, the pack so that you'll be able to purchase just the blend itself, one blend at a time. Okay. Um, and we think that that's important. Let me show you what it's going to look like when you receive it. Okay, so we literally have over here our garlic lemon pepper blend. It comes sealed for you guys already. You see that? So this is one of the brownstone blends from the pack. This is how you get it individually if you choose. But if you choose to get the full starter pack, you can get all four blends and you'll, it'll come with um, your kitchen towel set and also four recipe cards. This just comes as is. That is completely up to you either way that you want to do it, okay? And I know that that's something that our team is going to be working on to make sure that you guys have access to. So make sure that you get your brownstone blends, honey. It's going to be important. Let's go ahead and check the oven and see how we're doing. All right. Normally, I would um, bring y'all with me, but this ain't going to take... Oh, come on. All right. Let's go ahead and pull out Roger. Boom, this is Roger. For those of you all who do not know, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for the likes and the hearts. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this down because our food is ready. It's ready. Told y'all it wasn't long. It wasn't gonna take long. And all you need to make this a full meal is just to add um, a side item to it. You can add corn, you can add broccoli, you can add whatever you want to to it. But in our case, we're just gonna be adding a side of chips because it is just the kids' first day of school. It's still kind of hot outside. We don't want anything hot and heavy on them this early in the game. That'll be later on when it starts to cool down, maybe by, I don't know, November around here. Uh, so, yeah, let me go ahead and get this out of the oven now. Okay. 
And that's it. All we're gonna do is get us a plate. We're gonna rock out. We're gonna do what we need to do. We're gonna butter the top. You see that? Look at that. Let me share it with y'all. We're done. That's it. That's all you had to do. That's it. So people got it out here twisted for y'all, making y'all think that it takes a lot for y'all to be in this kitchen. It doesn't. It don't take a lot. It don't take a lot. You have to just be willing to learn some easy and simple recipes to feed your family. That's it. That's all I gotta do. All right. So I'm getting ready to butter the top of these burger buns to kind of, you know, give it a cute little shine or whatever. And then y'all already know I'm going to take pictures and video and it's going to be on Facebook Reels and all that cool stuff, right? Y'all already know how we do around here. Okay? But this is it. This is the recipe right here. This is a basic sloppy joe burger and it comes with basic ground beef. Now, again, don't come for me because I chose ground beef, honey. You can choose ground chicken, turkey, salmon, fish, whatever you want. You can choose to use a basic uh, soy protein if you want to or beyond meat. It really doesn't matter. It is your choice because this is your food. It is something you and your family are going to be consuming. So it really doesn't matter what I think. And it really shouldn't matter what you think about what I'm cooking and how I'm cooking. It. Hey, y'all, come on in here. All right. So, again, we have our Sloppy Joe burgers. That's it. We're done. I'm just putting a little butter on it to make it shine, a little something, something, you know what I mean? And then what I am going to do is move all of this stuff out of the way. Because when I'm working, honey, I lay everything out on the table. But you do want to make sure that you're cleaning up as you go as well. Because why wouldn't you, right? Okay. Y'all probably like, girl, you ain't talking about your daughter's wedding. You're on my way. I can't tell you it was beautiful. It was absolutely amazing. I got video. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me on Facebook, you're following my stories, you'll absolutely be able to see whether you're following me on the Sunday brunch or you're following me on my personal page, you can see what's happening. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a plate. Imani, can you call KJ for me, please? So I'm not yelling. Because we got such a good vibe going on. I am going to grab my little spatula, and we're going to put this on the plate, and we're going to call Mr. KJ. Because dinner is ready. That's it. That's all we got to do. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. See that? We're done. There it is. See that? It's beautiful. Just a beautiful sandwich. I'm going to go ahead and put it on plate. Now, what would be really good with this is, like I said, a side of french fries. You can have possibly, you know, um, chips, which is what we're going to be having this evening. Popcorn, that's something else that they could choose from. And then um, you can also have like some, you know, like a fruit cup or something like that. Super simple um, recipe for you guys to try. We seasoned our ground beef with Everyday Blends from the Brownstone Blends um, quad set. That's what I'm going to start calling it from the starter pack. And again, if you want that, all you have to do is head over to mybrownstoneliving.com to get the Brownstone Blend Seasoner Seasoning Starter Pack. Okay, um, tomorrow, what we're going to be discussing on the day shift in the morning over coffee is the news. Alan Edwards is going to be hanging out with us once again and providing us with the news and information from around the world. That's number one. Number two, we're going to be talking about the black card. Don't miss it. I want to spend some time discussing the black card with you guys. Also, 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 please pay very close attention to this. There's more to come. Brownstoneworldwide.com is coming to you live September 5th. September 5th is when the website is actually going to be live. You want more news? You want more information? You want politics? You want world news? You want local news? You want information about how to live the brownstone lifestyle? You want to be a part of that? All you have to do is just hang tight and keep paying attention to what's happening in the brownstone, and we got you covered, right? Also, tomorrow morning, what we're going to be doing is going over how to plan your day. We're going to be talking about that using the regular day-by-day -day planner for my brownstone living folks, right? So any of you all who actually have the planner, thank you so much for purchasing it. It's only $10, and you can actually have it for yourself as well. So KJ is going to test out our Sloppy Joe. Hi, KJ. How are you? I'm fine, are you? Would you stop it? You going to try it out? You going to say hello to the phone? Hey, I do 
All right. All right. So, KJ, this is a sloppy joe with a little butter on it. Go ahead and try that out for me, sir. Is it okay? Awesome. It is a win. He's gone. He has disappeared. <laughs> so we are done. Okay. Now, what I want you guys to do is to keep it locked. What I need you also to do is to head over to kccrthebrownstone.com. kccrthebrownstone.com. That's what you're going to go if you want to listen to what's happening on KCCR. It's a 24-hour run station, and you can definitely listen in to what we have um, there. So it's pretty cool. Go ahead and check it out. We'll be back in the morning for the day shift. It will air on KCCR while I am talking to you guys. Hey, y'all, come on in here. Welcome, welcome. You guys are just in time. We're actually wrapping up. Thank you so much for being a part of today's broadcast of Tips, Topics, and Talk. You learned something today. Very simple. It's a back-to-school meal that anybody can create. It doesn't take long. It only took me about 30 minutes. I've done more talking than I've done anything. But we will be back tomorrow for Cullen's Corner Hot Topics. The topics are on fire. Go ahead and follow Facebook, uh, Brownstone Worldwide. It's also known as the Brownstone Center. And then we will be telling you guys how you can get access to our private groups, which is the Corner Family and also Brownstone's Best, which is what is literally coming together for us to do the interviews with these black businesses. So I am excited, super, super excited for that. All right, so you guys, three things that I always like to tell you before I end every single episode. You ready? Love your life. It's the only one that you have. Live your life to the fullest and enjoy every single experience. And lastly, breathe through every single moment. I will see you guys tomorrow for another edition of the Day Shift in the morning. Grab your coffee and let's sit down together. Have a good one. <laughs>